Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Michael and this is Lag. Caused by the chicken farm next door and tons of chicken swimming in the water. So this is causing all the lag and today we are going to look into different solutions without water. So what I did is I tried tons of different chicken farm designs like these. This is one that I like pretty much because it uses a flying lava plate by Whoopi Concepts but uh, it still relies on water. So what I really wanted and I had to wait all the time until 1.5 was out is this. This is really epic. It has two compartments with chicken in it and uh, it works with a daylight sensor so every 10 minutes it switches from one compartment to the other. Then all the eggs collected during the day are being fired by an egg cannon and once the egg cannon is done it shoots out a short burst of, of lava picking all the adult chickens like this Then the feathers and fried chicken are sorted by a hopper sorting system and end up in this double chest which is now slowly being filled up by fried chicken and feathers and this is how the sorter works but I'll do an extra video on that one later on so well <laughs> it's large um, it got everything I ever wanted it got this egg elevator working with droppers then up here it got a hopper based clock firing the axe and then the firing is being turned off by a, a uh, repeater lock but it's far too complicated this one is much easier to build it has the adult chickens in an upper compartment laying eggs and whenever there's a new egg it's being fired into the lower compartment then there's a short burst of lava powered by this piston based monostable circuit Whenever the small chickens grow up, the bouncing box is larger than half a block in height, so they are being fried by the lava above. This one is quite the opposite of the other one. It has lava turned on all the time, though as soon as the chicken grows, it's being fried. And the lava is just turned off shortly for, for new eggs being fired and all the good stuff ends up in this chest. So, we're going to build this today. And remember for all things technical you've just seen, I'm going to do a separate video on that one. So we start with a regular chest, a hopper leading into it and a half step on top of it. Then we'll unclose everything from I'm using glass here so you can see it better um, but I'd rather recommend against it because chickens have a tendency to glitch through glass and all the solid blocks I'm using here for these are important because uh, they are leading power into the dispensers later on so here comes the first dispenser which is later for being filled with the lava bucket and the second dispenser firing the axe from above. Then close everything off again. Yeah, comparator on that side and on the other side. Then a another hopper on top of it with another half step. This is going to suck the axe out of the upper compartment. And then just enclose everything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, still more to enclose. And I think I've made a small mistake over here. Yeah, this got to be a solid block up there okay and another one down here now we are ready for the wiring uh, this is based on the comparator 
base clock which will come in a bit first we'll do a dual edge lever system from the what this does it fires a short burst whenever it's being turned off and on so it's basically a monos monostable circuit um, firing all the time <laughs> and then put a uh, repeater down there and some more redstone and of course it starts to rain but we are <laughs> just about finished so just another repeater down there and a redstone torch and we're done with the wiring for all that's left now is uh, fill up the upper compartment with chicken and put a lava bucket in the dispenser right and that's it please click like if you like this video it really helps me a lot and if you're curious about the technical aspects i'm doing another video on that one and i'm going to place a link in the description below